Nigga, kill over a bitch, but let a rat keep his wife. Good, yeah, what's going on? Uh, we just got a call about somebody who's been worried about someone. Me? <laughs> I'm not sure about you. Okay, now nah, I'm Dr. Umar Johnson. I'm just waiting on my flight to Amsterdam. It wasn't me. I'm good. Okay. Right. They, they sent y'all to me specifically? No, they, they set up a black man on a plaid shirt in this vicinity. I might be the only. Was doing what? No, they just. It was somebody called in and just said they were that you, some the person was talking to themselves. And they were just worried about oh, you oh now I'm a psychologist. Yeah. I, I'm perfectly right, sane. Well, no. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, we're just doing our due diligence. No so. problem. No problem. All is well. All right, All right now. Someone sent the police. Y'all see the police behind me? Do y'all see the police behind me? They sent the police. Two fully uniformed white power struck. They sent the police to the prince of Pan-Africanism. And I'm talking about spirituality. See, brothers and sisters, did y'all see what just happened? They said they got a call that a black man in a plaid shirt was talking to himself. Lord have mercy. I thought I'd do the psychological evaluations. I thought I'd do the psychological assessments. I thought I'd do the psychological screenings. I thought I'd do the psychological diagnosing. I thought I'd do the psycho... Now listen, I'm not a Dr. Umar fan, right? I'm just not. I know, I, I can read people. He one of them people that just say what you want to hear. He don't even stand on it. Right, but there's still a black man, and this ain't cause he black, but he black, and the police just approach him, saying they got a call because a black man was talking to himself. Okay, he fit the description. What does that matter? What if he's the type of person that talk to himself? He getting things in order in his head, and that's what he do. Cause I know some people like that, which I'll be like, man, why do you do that? Anybody? I'm getting myself together. I'm this high, you know. Some people weird like that. Some people not weird. That's just what they do. But he in an airport, which means his bags was checked. He was checked, probably scanned coming through. He not causing no harm to nobody. So as a black man, a big black man, this is what goes on. Why you didn't go to a white man? Oh, you got a description of a guy wearing a plaid shirt. And who shot this message to y'all to come approach me? Not me, but him. I don't think he should have had to deal with that. I think that was, they single him out as far as power stricken, racist police. Or they may know who he is and just want to. Want to mess with him because they see him all over YouTube or anything else. I don't know. But this didn't make no sense at all. He in the airport on his way going where he finna go. Why is this man being basically harassed? Because that's how I take it. Y'all just harassed him. And the excuse was because somebody talked to him. That's the reason to go talk. Man, listen here. If I was in the airport and wanted to talk to myself, don't come talking to me because you the police. You don't know what I got going on. They checked me before I got in here, so I don't got nothing. I'm minding my business like you should be doing. Hit the like button, y'all. Hit the subscribe button. I'm just trying to beat the odds, and you can help me. And I, I, I like to see he didn't get out his body. He handled it as he should. He wasn't rude. He wasn't none of that. But in fact, I take that like, what? Why me? Who watching me to where they want to call the police on me anyway? I'm in the airport minding my business. He, you heard him. He on his way to Amsterdam. Now, like I said, I'm not a Dr. Umar fan at all. But wrong is wrong. I'm always going to call wrong, wrong, and right, right. That's just me. I'm going to do that. So, And that just goes to show what it's like being a black man in America. You cannot, you can literally, literally. Not be doing nothing and look up and have to deal with the police in some type of way. And however it goes, it's really to their discretion at the time of how they feeling. Listen to what I said. It's at the discretion of how they feeling or what they finna do to you. It don't matter how nice or how mean you are. Look at what they just did to Sonya Massey. Look. 
That lady didn't do nothing to deserve that. They've been doing this to us for a long time. So as a black man, that right there, that didn't sit, that ain't sit right with me. That didn't sit right with me at all. And I, I, a few of y'all that watch this, I'm pretty sure it don't sit right with y'all. Fair is fair, right is right, wrong is wrong. And these police is, is man, they, these police, man. If Trump elected, they just gonna have our way with us. That's all. That's all I'm gonna say. They gonna have their way, and they not gonna go to jail for it. They're not gonna get punished for it. But y'all leave a comment. Let me know what y'all think about this. Usually, if I say something about Dr. Umar, it's always about him panhandling to women and and the school he be lying about. But this had nothing to do with either one of them. So in this case, Dr. Umar. Yeah, I'm going to stand up with you, black man. Because that right there wasn't it. You don't deserve nothing like that. Like People could disagree with them all they want. And, and not like them or whatever. Like I don't have a reason why I don't like them. A real reason, because I don't know them. But I know what I don't like them for. As far as some of the things he say. Or how he presents himself. You know what I'm saying? But Or lying about that school for damn near 20 years. But I'm I'm for sure not about to stand with the oink oink type ordeal, bacon. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nah, nah, nah. They wrong. But y'all leave a comment. Let me know what y'all think. I'll be back with another one. Y'all make sure y'all go follow my Instagram. It's in the description.